Hello everybody, what's going on and welcome back to the Road to Glory career mode for the final episode of season number one. It is title deciding day today. If you missed the previous episode, probably should go check that out because it'll explain how we got to this stage. But my friends, as you can see by the league table, three points adrift of Colchester with two games to play. And although we are second... To win the title, it is completely in our hands. We face Cambridge as the first of the two games. And after that, we face Colchester away on the final day. All we have to do is win both of these games and we are in League One as champions. If not, we'll be in League One as runners-up behind Colchester. So... It's not like we're just relying on the Colchester game. We still have to beat Cambridge in the first game of the day. But I'll be playing the both games regardless of what happens in that first game. And uh, what I'll do is I won't show you how Colchester get on in their game. Because even if we lose to Cambridge, if Colchester don't win, we can still do it, remember. Um, but I don't even want to entertain a thought about losing to Cambridge because we should beat them. Cambridge uh, are down near the bottom of the table. They're 21st in, uh, in League 2. And I might have mentioned this. In fact, I did. In the previous episode as well, whilst we play Cambridge, Colchester are actually away to third or fourth place, sorry, Walsall. So that's not an easy game for them. So fingers crossed that Walsall can do us a solid and get a result there. And if we can beat Cambridge and Walsall beat Colchester, we'll go on to the same point into that final game. So without further ado, we are going to get ourselves into the first game of the day. Actually, before we do that, a bit of training. I mentioned this, Lopez, who is now 75 overall. I was going to take him out of the training. I am going to do that. Apart from I'm going to keep him on two. I'm going to keep him in the stamina to try and improve that. And also the free kicks as well to make him be our free kick taker. So he might grow a couple more overalls between now and the end of the season. But that's okay. And in terms of the player, I want to give a training session to... I actually don't know who I'm going to give this, uh, this extra one to. I don't think it will make too much of a difference who I really give it to. But I think purely for that, I'm going to give it to Tyler Mitchell and we'll go some defending drills so he can improve his defensive side of his game. And maybe he can be our starting right back next season. The plan is maybe to let Gaber go for some money. If we do get into League One, he'll be a great servant, but he is a little bit older than the rest of the team. So, yeah, like I mentioned, Cambridge, let's head off into that game and see what result we can get in the first of the two massive games today. Here is our starting 11 for the game here then against Cambridge. There's a couple of big name players missing. Lopez is on the bench due to fitness reasons, as is Guruzeta as well. So top scorer George Williams leads the line today. On the right of him, it's Mondal. On the left, it's Grob. For Cambridge, if you recognise any of their players, there is their starting 11. Um, but I don't care who's in that starting 11. We have a job to do. And provided we play the way we know we can, we should get that job done. We have home advantage here for this first of the massive two games we've got coming up for you today. So, as Williams gets us underway, no mistakes. Do the basics right. Get the win. Let's get the job done. Adams for Forrest Green. In towards Dawson. Walsall 1, Colchester 0. As it pops up on the screen right there. Walsall strike first against Colchester. What a massive goal that could be. By the way, although we've got no Lopez in our team, he is on the bench, so... Doesn't mean we won't see him here today. But Walsall in front against Colchester is quite possibly the best way we could have hoped that game to start. Smith, what a ball through. Lewis is in. And Cambridge strike first. Half an hour gone. Forest Green Rovers nil. Cambridge won. And just to let you know, Colchester have got an equalising goal against Walsall. So as it stands, they will go four clear in the title race. And it will be out of our hands. I did say we've not started off well here at all, and that stays the same. Out came Mitov. No chance as it slid past him. What are we made of then is the question, because we're half an hour into this game, and we've shown absolutely no signs of us taking the lead in this one. And now we can't, because we're behind. Colchester get a goal back. We now have to find one ourselves. If they win and we only draw, that's also it. We have to match their result or better it. Oh, come on. What's wrong with us? We've just not started here yet. And that is not good to see. Winchester trying to drive. Forest Green forward. Williams needs to make a run. And that run didn't really come. But it will now from Dawson. Who takes the touch in front of him. Dawson's in. And a challenge that can only be described as a wonder tackle inside his own penalty area from Cambridge's number four. 
half time then at the new lawn. Cambridge United won. 21st Cambridge United are leading us here away from home. I think it's safe to say we need to make a triple change. We've got to get Lopez on. We just don't have any inspiration in that first half. And I do believe it's one apiece over in the game between Walsall and Colchester as well. Here is Adams carrying forward. Now finds Williams. Look at the bodies back for Cambridge. To say they just had a corner and already got all their bodies back shows you how little interest they really have in trying to add to their lead. Here is Dawson. Now to White. White off towards Mills. We need some inspiration from somewhere. Lopez is now on. Mills turning away. Still got it. Goes to Adams on the edge of the area though. That's not the pass I was looking for. Williams was actually the intended target. White into the feet of Williams who spins. George Williams! Straight at the goalkeeper, Burton. We've got half an hour to play here to find a way back into this game. Otherwise, the title is done and dusted unless Warsaw can beat Colchester. Ref, he's wasting time. He just literally took two minutes away delaying his goal kick there or kick out of the hands. That's a joke. 13 minutes left of the 90 now then as Dawson trying to control it. I just didn't want to lump it upfield because we need possession back and meet off saves again from Cambridge. Why have we got so many people back? We need a goal. Corner ball again towards the box. I, I don't just want to clear it because that's all that happens is they're going to get it straight back. We've already made three changes, by the way, and we're playing with a very attack-minded formation here, trying to find a goal. John has got possession as he wastes some seconds here on the clock, and I don't know how we are losing this game the way we are. Why is it when it's mattered most, we're just not at the races? Lopez, Guruzetta needs to give the run. That's not where we should have played the pass. Dawson back towards Lopez, who just about keeps hold of it. Guruzetta now does move. Here is Guruzetta into the penalty area. Guruzetta! Forest Green won. Cambridge won. The dream is still alive of the title. The question is, what's going on elsewhere between Warsaw and Colchester? No other goal updates right now to give to you. I've got no idea how that game is playing out. But what a massive goal that could be in this title race. Oh man, Kuruzeta, what a hero. We have been so bad here. But if the game elsewhere is one apiece, it is still in our hands. Like I mentioned, I've got no idea what is going on in that other game. So all we can do from this point forward is either grab a second goal in a moment or hope that stays 1-1. And even said that, we still have to keep hold of a draw here. We can't afford to concede again and... On the balance of play, you could argue maybe Cambridge do deserve to win this game. They've actually been probably the busier of the two teams as, again, they try to go down this left-hand side. Maris with it. All the way back. Gruzetta trying to put the pressure on as they concede possession here. Gruzetta now. What a substitution he has proved to be as he's beginning to run the show out there. White on the left-hand side. Needs to find somebody in a green shirt in the penalty area. And he Ronaldo chops straight into one of the Cambridge defenders. To be fair, there was only really Williams he could have aimed at, but Mills should get that. And does a minute to play here of the normal time. I can't even tell you what is going through my mind right now. All I'm hoping is that that result between Warsaw and uh, Colchester remains the same. Guruzetta, if he gets another one, that's insane. Guruzetta! He's done it again! It's 2-1 Cambridge! <laughs> I mean, 2-1 Forest Green! I'm all over the place! Genuinely cannot believe this! Guruzetta, what a substitution! And for anybody that will turn around and say it, I'm going to show you the sliders. As always, they are all on 50. Oh, Guruzetsu, he's done it. He's actually a hero. I can't believe this. Do you know what? If he's the one who wins the title, I think we have to bring him back. <laughs> what a turn. I'm all over the place. I can't actually believe that we were losing this game, playing as bad as we have. Guruzetsu's come on and two like-for-like -like finishes have meant that we now are going to go on to win the game. That's what champions are made of, though. They get the victory when it looks like it's not there. His 13th goal of League Two this season for Gorka Zguruzeta. Just breathe. It doesn't matter what's going on elsewhere now, then. <laughs> this feels like a cup final, and this was only like the build-up to the cup final, in essence. Oh, man, this has been such a hard-fought win. Full time, Forest Green Rovers 2, Cambridge United 1. We, we made it a hard job there. And of course now, we go into Colchester. And if we win, we're champions. I don't think I've got much left to give. What a game. I did say as well that we didn't really play very well here. And look at those match facts. Cambridge, more shots, more on target, more possession. Two shots on target, both from Guruzetta. 
And that was what won us the game. I'm not going to go to the advanced section yet because that will show you the result. And I want to keep you guys in the dark as to what happened. In fact, it doesn't even matter what happened in that game because we still need to beat Colchester anyway to win the title. So, yeah, let's move forward. Here we go then for the game that we've been waiting for. Colchester versus Forest Green Rovers. I've not shown you how their previous game ended purposely because I want to leave you in the dark as to how the table looks. A quick apology as well to any headphone users for my reactions in the previous game. Can you blame me though? Because I didn't think we were going to win it. We came back and Guru Zeta, man, what a hero. Won the game for us. So yeah, apologies for that. They were very, very loud, my reactions. I'll try and keep them quite uh, lower down if I can remember to in this game for anything that happens if it goes our way. But there's our team anyway. So, Thomas comes back in for Mitov. Wasn't the best display from Mitov, I don't think. Lopez is in the team alongside the match hero Guruzetta as Williams pushes out to the left-hand side. Mills as well captains the team. I was going to give it to Lopez, but I checked your comments from the previous episode. And uh, quite a few of you have said that you prefer to see it to be one of the more experienced players in the team. So, that's why we've gone with Mills. He captained us for the large parts of this season. And he captains us on the day where potentially... If we are getting the right results, we could be league champions. Off we go. What a spectacle we have got here. When it, when it was in the calendar and I said it to you two episodes ago, wasn't quite sure if it would end up like this. It's panned out like this through a ro roller coaster of just craziness the way the back end of the season has gone. And uh, what a game we have got here then. Here is Lopez for Forest Green, the man that you're looking at to try and make things happen as he skips past one challenge and tries to go past another one. Colchester going to have to be very careful of that man there, Lopez. You're already seeing the trickery he's got up his sleeve as he goes past two Colchester players and nearly a third before a great sliding challenge. Now Pell for them, comes forward, finds Norris. Norris off to Senior. Don't let them get the cross in. Do not let Senior get this cross in towards the box mills. Instead, he goes short. Towards Lapseal. Now it goes to Pell, who's given away the ball. But look at the pressure he's put on here. And Thomas claims it. You can see how this game is going to be. Probably quite end-to-end -end here, as already both teams looking like they're up for this game. Three minutes until half-time. Colchester's ball out wide towards Brown. Brown can turn and feed it back towards Bramall. And uh, at the moment, it's been quite the end-to-end -end affair. Neither side really testing one another's goalkeepers, though, as Rawson will win that header away off towards Lopez. Gets it under control quite well. Williams towards the feet of Gruzetta who can turn. Lopez gives him the run. Lopez touches it. And for the first time in a game, Lopez is through. The man you'd want in this position. Saved onto the post. The rebound's wide. Oh, Lopez. What a save it was from Gherkin initially. And then the rebound falls his way and he miskicks it. McGinley finds the feet of Winchester really well. Winchester looks out wide towards Lopez. What a ball it was. Now Lopez bearing down on goal. Lopez still. He's hit both posts now. I need to just... Ah, uh, this is ridiculous. How has that done that? You've got to be joking. Another tactical change for us then. We're going to go three at the back. Four in midfield. Lopez in behind Williams and Guruzetta. Oh, hit both posts and bounce back out. Are you, are you having me on? This is this isn't funny at all. That's not that's not a nice joke to play on me game. Jackson can't control that. Twenty seven minutes left. I don't want to say it, but I'm feeling a little bit of script in there because I feel like that should have gone in. Freer, who's just come on as a substitute, has got the legs to beat the defender. Now we need to find the correct cutback. Freer to Williams. What a moment, Williams! <laughs> Yes! 25 minutes left! George Williams! I think with his 19 for the season, is it? Again, apologies headphone users. What an episode this has been! And we're still not even done yet. There's still 25 minutes to play. The substitute of Freer comes on, finds Williams. He picks his spot. He finds it. Forest Green leading the game. <laughs> now... We still don't know, of course, what happened in the other game with Colchester. So, I don't, I don't actually know what this means at the moment. But actually, even if they... Yeah, because we won. Even if they won, as long as we win, we were champions anyway. So, regardless of what happened in that other game. George Williams, what a hero! 24 minutes left. Substitute worked in the game against Cambridge. Guru Zeta was the hero of that game. The substitute pays off here again with Freer coming on. Bursting down the left-hand side, putting the ball back in. Now, actually, I've just realised and I've just remembered, I am on a three at the back, aren't I? Should I switch it back or 
What do we do? Should we just leave it? <sighs> I don't know what to do. Because I feel like if I do end up switching it back, we might just invite pressure on. And I don't know what to do. I really have no idea. Should I, should I stick with a three? It's like the stick or twist. What do you do in this scenario? I mean, ultimately, our shape doesn't look terrible here. So I feel like staying with it for now wouldn't be a bad idea. Bramall's ball in towards the box. The header away by McGinley isn't brilliant, but we still deal with it anyway. Where is he going, McGinley? Go back to the central defensive position. What are you doing going forward when we're 1-0 up in the game? We don't need you to burst forward. Lopez finds Williams. Williams now turning away. Colchester with a lot of people behind the ball at the moment, which doesn't really bode well for them because they now need a goal. Guruzeta towards Lopez. Lovely touch. Lopez is in. Lopez to finish it. Game set and match. That's it. That's it. When you need him, he pops up. Forest Green 2, Colchester nil. Title, game, set and match. Lopez. What a player he is going to be for this club. Look at that for a finish as well. Should have already scored twice in the game. The first effort in the first half, which was pushed onto the post by, uh, by Gherkin. Then he hit both posts in the second half. Now he's got his goal. And actually, while we're on the subject... Let's get him off because you can see there, his stamina levels are not doing too hot at all. So, Adams is going to come on. Um, I think I've still got one more change, right? Yeah, I still have. I think, though, for now, maybe Dawson. Dawson for Taylor. Get some fresh legs in midfield alongside Adams. Yeah, let's do that. And it looks like the title is coming back with Forest Green Rovers. What a season this has been. This might have to be one of my craziest episodes of career mode I think I've ever done. The back end of last episode, the roller coaster ride that we went on to even claw back the points and be in a position where we potentially could have been in with a title shout to then coming to today and be 1-0 down at Cambridge or at home to Cambridge after 30 minutes with about 20 minutes left. You can't write it and what an episode it's been. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it because this has been an unbelievable episode to play through and it's still not done yet. I've enjoyed every single moment of this, uh, of this career mode episode today. Crazy stuff. 11 minutes to play. Colchester come forward as Rawson will block the cross. The shot comes in from quite an angle. And it's come from Colchester's top scorer. Uh, I can't actually pronounce his name. But um, he's got a lot of goals for them this year. They're number 19. And there it shows you why. He got a, a shot on target from quite a difficult angle. Seven minutes left. Colchester now need... Two goals in the last few minutes as Thomas has claimed that. That could have gone anywhere with a little touch. And uh, as time ticks away, they're running out of time. Winchester, tell you what, I'm happy to take this into the corner with Freer and just leave it there. Look at this. Freer's got the pace up against Jackson. He's already pacey as Freer. That substitute has paid off. Now Adams for 3-0. Was it ever in doubt, my friends? Anybody who said we couldn't do it. Take a look at this. Colchester nil, Forest Green Rovers 3. Last minute of the game and there is the whistle. Colchester nil, Forest Green Rovers 3. As we go to shake the hand of the Colchester manager, we'll be seeing you again in League One next season. But the more important bit about it is Forest Green, our league champions of League Two. Tell me we get to lift the trophy, right? Otherwise, this is going to be so annoying if we don't get to see it. We better get to lift it. I'm going to be fuming if we don't. What? We don't even get to lift the trophy? Are you joking? I am so, so annoyed. The hard work that we put in today and we're not even going to get to see us lift the trophy. And I want to make sure that we are mathematically champions. I'm doing a post-match interview after the game to see if it says anything about the title being ours. Um, have I got this wrong? Have I, have I actually got it wrong mathematically and, uh, and, and not actually been able to win the title or what? Because why did we not get to lift it if that's the case? See, great result for us in the title race. We're at the end of the season. The title should be done. You're, you got your rematch against Colchester. How do you prepare for the match? By the way, last time we played Colchester, it was a 1-0 defeat for us. So to turn it around is obviously good when it mattered the most. I am so confused because there's nothing in there about us winning the title. And I'm sure we've done it. I'm sure we have. Yeah, there you go. We finished on 108 points. 10 goal difference better than Colchester. We won the title by 10 goal difference. I mean, imagine having 108 points and not winning a league title. That's pretty ridiculous in my opinion. Kind of harsh on Colchester as well a little bit. But why did we not get to lift it? 
We deserved it after what we did today. I mean, I'm so annoyed. Where is the uh, where is the the news then? Club news maybe. Colchester. There's absolutely nothing about us winning the title. Are you serious? Are you actually having a laugh? Team of the competition announced. Lopez is in there. Williams is in there. Dawson's in there. Winchester. It's most of Colchester, most of Forest Green, it seems like. And there's a couple of other players from uh, Crew Alexandra and Walsall in there too. Sharpsuiter Palmer wins Golden Boot. Goalkeeper went to Thomas. Does nothing about us winning the title. Do you know what? Career mode never, ever ceases to amaze me with how, how broken it is at times. Like, that's... That's a joke. I'm sorry, but it is. We don't even get to lift the title, and there's nothing in there about us winning said title. Will it pop up if I sim a day or two maybe in the future? Have I got to do that in order for it to pop up? Or is it just not going to give us it? Club news. Does not like we're going to get it. So... <sighs> so, that brings this season to a close. We finished top of League 2. You can see as I scroll down where some of the other teams have placed if you're interested. In terms of who comes up to League 1, it's us, Colchester and Bradford. And from the League 2 playoffs, Oldham Athletic are also in there as well. Uh, where did Oldham fi finish in the league? They finished 7th. So they were actually in the last playoff spot and they managed to get in. So credit to them. Uh, I will say as well, I'll start the next episode of Season 2. It will be, of course, the first episode of that season. Uh, we're by showing you who's won what around the world, who is, you know, the champions of their respective divisions, who won the Champions League, the uh, Europa League and whatnot. I'll do that as like a post-con bit so we can check that out. But before we go, a quick look at our squad heading into next season. Of course, there's a couple of players who are leaving us, sadly, due to either them being loans or agreed deals to leave the club. So we'll start with, um, we'll start with that financially. Uh, obviously, anybody who's leaving as they were only here on loan. So Mills, Matthew Mills is going. His contract is expiring. I chose not to give him a new contract at the age of 33. Guruzetta is going back, unfortunately, to his parent club. Is it Bilbao? Uh, he was only here for a year loan. But what I might try and do is bring him, bring him back on a permanent basis if, uh, if you guys are up for that idea. I don't know if we'll have £2 million to spend, though, to bring him back. But I really want Guruzetta back for another year, especially after the goals he scored against Cambridge. Uh, James Morton will leave the club. He's here on loan, as is Kyle Taylor. Mentioned Taylor before as well. Another player we might bring back. Uh, Aitchinson also here on loan. And Jojo Wallacott as well. So all of those players will be leaving us um, at the end of this season. But in terms of the growth for uh, our particular players this year... Obviously, Mitov, the highest growth rate at the club, up by 21 overall. Started at 44, now is 65 rated. Diego Lopez, 77 rated is how he will finish the season off. What an incredible little talent we have on our hands here. Now 18 years of age. And as I scroll down, you can see who has grown by uh, what overall. If you want to check it out, just pause it on which player you want to see in more detail. And you guys can check that player out. In terms of the highest appearance maker at the club for this season, Mills got it with 57 appearances in all competitions. Only missed one League 2 match. And I think that was down to the fact that he was injured. So, yeah, what a return that is. In terms of the goal scored for the year, uh, Lopez is in there. He's one behind Williams. who got 19 in 44 League 2 games. 12 assists as well to his name. 15 assists overall. Lopez had a goal contribution rate of 30. So he's... Williams actually probably was our best player this year in terms of rating. 7.6. Lopez matches it though. Um, Lopez playing one less game. But also having 17 goals and 10 assists in 42 League 2 matches. Guruzetta with 15 goals to his name. 13 in 29 in League 2. Mondal chipped in with a few as well. So you can kind of see what's going on. In terms of our most valued player, of course it's Lopez. Who else would it be? He's like 16 million or something. 16.5 mil. There you go. Um, 77 rated player in League One. Seems quite strange. But uh, that is that is what's going to happen next season for us. I don't know if I'll be training him. Might put some training into the likes of Ollie White. Uh, might put some training as well into... Where is he? The right back. Mitchell, is it? Wait, where is he? Where is Mitchell? He was here a second ago. Right back. Yeah, there he is. Tyler Mitchell. Probably put a bit of training into him as well. Get him to a good overall where he can start games for us. But what a season it's been here at Forest Green Rovers. 
And what an episode we have had today. I have loved every single minute of this, barring the fact we couldn't lift the title. This is why I enjoy career mode so much. When you get games and episodes like this where anything can happen and the unexpected does happen, it's just so fun to play, honestly. And uh, hopefully that came across in today's video. Crazy, crazy stuff. And now I can't wait to jump into the next year here with Forest Green in League One, season two, coming very soon in the series. Stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching this episode and this entire first season. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, a like would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much as well for all of your support on the channel too. If you are new around here like what you see, again, apologies to headphone users today for my reactions, but hopefully you understand them. Some crazy stuff went on. And uh, yeah, I'm not normally like that all the time. Uh, but anyways, if you do like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. And until next time, have a great day. Have a great evening. And I'll catch you all again very, very soon. Adios.